guys and welcome back to my ethical fashion youtube channel if you're new here i'm l and today i am going to break down if it's right for you to boycott fast fashion by breaking down ethics and the moral arguments found for and against fast fashion don't mind the background noise i'm in my yard it was the only quiet place i had left um but yeah let's get into fast fashion so if you don't know fast fashion is essentially clothing that is usually found in malls and retail stores that come in all sorts of trendy styles and colors but sadly they are rapidly produced from cheap plastic based materials made in sweatshops in third world countries that are otherwise called the global south and honestly clothing only is sold in the shops for a couple weeks and then are deemed no longer in style and so this constant state of production and consumption has come with a lot of exploitation of millions of garment workers across the world and it also has come with expensive vulnerable communities because a lot of resources are extracted from the local areas and if you clicked on this video i'm sure that you're somewhat aware of this and you're wondering if boycotting fast fashion is a good idea and so to help you figure that out i'll be breaking down ethics and the role it has in the fashion industry okay why is ethics even important so ethics is a way for us to consider what is right and what is wrong we live in a world World full of both immoral and moral frameworks that are made up of logical arguments. We use logic to reason what we should and shouldn't have in our lives. These thoughts shape our personal style and our shopping choices. And so to uncover whether it's right to boycott fast fashion, we need to reflect on the ideas and reasons we give to the industry. However, our unconscious thoughts, desires, and impulses also heavily shape our actions. And to be better, more aware consumers, also known as conscious consumers, we need to know ourselves really well. Our actions do make an impact in the world, but knowing what is morally right is kind of hard when it's not an inherently visual practice, nor is ethical practices in the industry given a universal distinctive look. But there are clues we can use, such as looking at logos, clothing labels, and resources to know what is good fashion, which is often durable and has long lasting qualities. And good fashion can also be considered and relabeled as ethical fashion which is the antithesis to fast fashion and the industry is currently failing to address and provide information behind the production of fashion and we really need to know the history of clothing to really understand the complicated nature we have in supporting social and environmental issues and boycotting fast fashion is one way one route in participating against a fashion industry that's extremely damaging and extractive. And by starting to go against fast fashion, it helps us zero in on ethical fashion instead, where we start to center values around care and compassion, and they become materialized into physical fashion products. And so this video is an invitation for you to consider whether you should stop buying cheap, trendy clothing and if it's an appropriate route to insert deeper meaning on how we dress and shop. And so in this video, I want to focus on the idea that our values can create deeper meaning in life, can be transferred into positive change in the industry. If this was impossible, I don't think we would be considering boycotting fast fashion in the first place. And honestly, we are at a time where fast fashion is deeply hurtful and deeply ugly. And I don't think it's worth the tre trendy aesthetics, which are honestly really bad quality and we just end up looking like everyone else at the end of the day. So I highly encourage you to pause this video and consider the following questions to encourage deeper reflection on what you consider meaningful in your own life. So what is the greatest good? What goals do you want to pursue in life? What virtues do you want to cultivate? What duties should and shouldn't you fulfill? What values do you put on human life? What pains and perils should we pursue for notions like the common good, justice, and righteousness? Hopefully you took time to reflect on these questions that often shape how and why we live our lives. At the end of the day, we know for sure that the material reality of clothing is just cut and shaped fabric. However, ethical fashion is a move towards ideologies like deeper intentional thought process on how we consume and dispose of clothing. 
it is no longer just about cut fabric, but the moral ideologies within the material reality of clothing. And it's important to note we still can't forget about our external desire to self style our bodies based on visual aesthetics. Morality in the fashion industry doesn't have to mean creating ugly clothing. Instead, ethics and aesthetics can work together to help create a world that we want to look and do better in, where we're helping people and the planet. And boycotting fast fashion can just be our start and analyzing the fast fashion aesthetics that we call normal and otherwise we can start moving to broader conversations on what is really fashion and what is needed to achieve systemic change to move towards ethical fashion the sun is getting in my eye so i'm going to say this is a sign for me to close the video but i personally recommend you boycott fast fashion to do what you can on an individual level against environmental and social issues honestly though it may not be an accessible choice for a lot of us who depend on fast fashion for clothing options so start where you can and do what you can given the circumstances you're in boycotting fast fashion is not a universal route so if you can't necessarily boycott fast fashion don't mind the sun I would recommend you try using what you own, consider hosting clothing swaps to exchange unwanted clothing and get free goodies in exchange. You can always try shopping secondhand and you can always refuse fast fashion in small little ways and little moments. So I would also say no matter what income bracket you're in or what country you're in, I'm just going to ask if we refuse to give up fast fashion what world are we saying we deserve or need to stay in i have to get out of here but please let me know what your thoughts are and if there's anything you're excited about in boycotting fast fashion also i would love to know what you think will be challenging and how you plan on overcoming it in your personal journey and feel free to subscribe and make weekly videos every sunday and turn on your post notifications and i'll see you in the next one maybe there will be less sun okay <laughs> hopefully peace and love l bye